Well, it's Saturday, November 9th. It's about 2.30 p.m. So I moved the cows the second time in a day. Uh, just two daily moves a day. And you, you can see that this is where they were at here. A lot of the grass is barely even touched. So there's just too much grass for them to eat. Either that or they decided to stop eating grass. I don't know what they're eating. Maybe ice cream or something. But... Uh, Thick, thick grass here. It's about 75 degrees. Um, so here we are, um, a little bit past a week into November. And uh, it's nice summer weather. It's good, good temperature for a picnic or a barbecue. So uh, just watched, uh, I just watched Greg Judy's video about the fescue, the Kentucky 31. Um, he mentioned in the video that uh, you can't grow it in Texas. Uh, on account of the climate being too warm. So, uh, you know, winter time is kind of a rough time for the cattle because there's not a lot of nutrition in the field. If I left the Bermuda grass standing or the rye grass or whatever I did, um, whatever I do, there's, there's really nothing out there that'll provide them with much nutrition throughout the uh, winter months. So, uh, you know, we bale up our hay and we roll it out, um, and that, that provides some of the nutrition they need, but uh, really we gotta provide some kind of supplements. One of my commentators uh, suggested just doing two bags a week or measuring numbers of bags per week and giving a, a bit of a time for the cows to adjust. And I think that's a sound idea. So what I can do is just take a bag and split it into two five gallon buckets. Each, each bucket is about 25 pounds of feed. Um, and then I just pour out a bucket every day or so. Um, probably in the evening, I guess. I think that's probably the best time to do it. And then, uh, or afternoon. And uh, just watch their manure. And if, if their manure still, still keeps piling up, then put a little more in, maybe an extra bucket or two. And if their manure is uh, a little bit too runny, then back off a little bit, you know, just go down to one or two buckets a week instead of four. So um, looking at this last row, um, the cows are grazing close enough together that you know I can't avoid the, the cow patties when I drive down. And so we get stuff like this. Um, I don't want to stick my foot in the, the manure patty, but you know the side by side will do that for me. It kind of shows me the consistency and, and what's going on in there. Uh, one thing to note is that the dung beetles are not really active right now, and I'm not really sure why. Um, Normally what would happen is in a few days these patties would just turn to Swiss cheese as the dung beetles go through and and tear it to pieces. Um, the fly count is really low as well. I don't know if that's because of the cool temperatures in the evening or what exactly is going on there, but the flies are having a hard time, which I'm not complaining about that. I'm just bragging about it, I guess. But uh, looking at these patties, you know, it's a little bit on the tall side. Oh, there's one over here that looks a little better, but is that just because the cat was walking while she took a dump or not really sure? There's something on there. I, I think I see, is that a pill bug or something on there? There's something down there. I don't want to get my face in there. Um, I mean, I, I, I like manure, but not that much. So, but anyway, uh, it looks like the cows are doing pretty well and I haven't fed them protein for a while. So I'm going to start again on protein soon. Um, so we'll see what happens there. And then other updates. The sheep are doing just fine. The puppies are doing just fine. Um, the rams with the puppies, the older puppies that were born back in May, that are about six months old now. So they're just out there in front of the shop in a, in a net. They're doing just great. In fact, the rams are on some green grass. It's kind of short grass, but it's green, and it's going to get covered up by gravel, a uh, driveway of sorts. So I, I kind of I don't care uh, if I overgraze it. Um, but my wife was uh, making kimchi, and part of the kimchi process is you take a bunch of the the napa cabbage and you cut it up, and there's parts that you can't use. Well, I dumped all those parts into the into the little area there. And the dogs, of course, were interested. They're smelling things and tasting it. It wasn't too long before they figured out it's not the flavor profile they were looking for. But then the sheep took an interest in it. They started munching on the different parts. And, you know, I'm going to go see what they did when I come back 
after checking on the other dogs and the sheep. So that was kind of interesting. But uh, And I have found a use for the hay now. I'm using the hay to make bedding for the puppies that were just born. They're down there in that uh, wooded area there. And uh, Nutmeg seems to like the hay. Um, so I'll just grab, you know, a little bit every day and just keep piling it up. Um, she wants to make kind of a little dugout, you know, a little cave to hide the puppies in. Uh, keep them safe at night and stuff like that, but I I prefer they weren't underground Especially with the ground being as soft as it, as it is so I'll give her the hay and she can d Tunnel through that if she wants to I think it'll be warmer too if it gets cold at night. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys just a beautiful uh, warm sunny summer day here uh, in Almost mid-November. Have a great day. Take care everybody and goodbye